it was like the first day of school again, you know, seeing all your boys for the first time since summer. But, um, you know, I'm really excited for what this year has in store for us and what we're going to bring to the table. That's big. You see familiar faces from last year, um, especially how we ended the season on a, um, a better note than when we started. Um, looking to trickle that into this upcoming season. So I feel like we're on to the right foot. It's obviously on us, and it's it's really where we want to take ourselves and how hard we want to push ourselves and if we can get there. But we got to take it one day at a time, and uh, the sky's the limit there. There's a lot of work to do, and I know that they know that, but I think the talent is there and the leadership is there. They just, you know, you got to put it all together. It's got to gel. Every year is so different. Having the guys in the building now and being able to get to work is, is helpful. Um, a lot of work to do, but I know those guys are, are excited about a big year. I feel like definitely this offseason, guys we've been bringing in definitely can help us a lot. But um, I think they've been making a lot of moves. Anxious to see what we do in the draft. Um, every, every single day you get an opportunity to, uh, to dive deeper into this process. You just love every second of it, every minute of it. And often it doesn't really feel like work. It's just it's your passion of what you love to do. I just, I just love doing it, man. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Our local pro day allows us to have the players that are originally from the Detroit metro area to come in and participate in a workout. Uh, this allows us to, to get, get them into our facility, into our building, into our program, even though it's you know, just for, for half of the day, and to, to, to work with them individually. First of all, welcome uh, to our local pro day. Appreciate y'all being here. We got perfect attendance. Um, from everybody that was invited, that's always a big thing. Basically, everybody here, there's gonna be a workout component, right, and a meetings component. If you're on offense, we're gonna go onto the, the field first. While the offense is on the practice field working out, defense, you're gonna be in the meeting rooms with the position coaches. Local players, as defined by the NFL, it's two things. One, any player who either went to school or is originally from the Detroit metro area within 50 miles of our facility. The second component of that is that the NFL permits every team to have three FBS schools and part of this kind of exempt status. Uh, our three schools happen to be Michigan, Eastern Michigan, and Toledo. An exposure like this where they get the chance to potentially impress you know, one of our coaches, impress you know, our front office staff, uh, it allows them to kind of differentiate themselves, to put themselves out ahead of the pack. But it's just kind of almost like a jack of all trades. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, what, is, what are the elite trades that you're going to hang your hat on for them to make a roster, you know? So, but, but I mean, productive as good hands. Just plays tough, strong, physical dude. He's the leader, vocal guy, like super like loyal, appreciate. Like he's someone that we could probably sign after. The local pro days are one opportunity in our own facility to have these players come in and work out for us. It's an opportunity for our coaches to, to get to interact with these players, really get kind of a hands-on evaluation. I mean, hopefully these get a chance to work with our coaches, see how, they, how we like him and if it changes our preference for which guys we'd want to bring in. Uh, and anytime we can get you with our coaches, it gives us a better feel for how you could potentially fit with us at the end of the day, you know what I mean? And it's just a, I mean, just part of the long, longest job interview you'll ever have, right? How can we use him? What can we get most out of him? Like, I think our staff has done a good job with that. You look at guys like Matt Nelson out of Iowa, converted defensive lineman. You know, he, he played extensively for us at tackle this past year. You just always finding any sort of trace that you can to what can we do to put this kind of best pitch to succeed for the Detroit Lions. When you think about pro days, you think about a combine workout, you think about the 40, you think about the jumps and the shuttles and the bench press. Well, we, we don't do any of the combine testing at the local pro day. We start with a dynamic warm up, you know, led by our strength and conditioning staff and our sports performance staff. Then we break them off with their position coaches and then they're doing individual drills. So we have offense go do workout first and then the defensive players will go into meetings and then they flip flop. So it gives a chance not only to see these guys, how they perform on the field, but how they're gonna perform in the classroom essentially, how they learn football. Really January and April is a heavy time to get to know these guys, but really throughout the year we're learning about who these guys are, how they play, how they interact with teammates. So this is another piece in that puzzle, really taking a sample from everywhere. There's no stone unturned with this process. Best thing he did is rush a passer. And he's got legit pass rush production, just in terms of effort, hand use, savvy, plays tough, strong, physical dude. So those are the type of guys that we want in our building.
This is, happens to be one of the, the events that we do during the year that involves the entire building. From our athletic training staff, our equipment staff, uh, we couldn't do this without them. Our video staff uh, being able to, to film everything and, and making sure that we can evaluate uh, everything later. And then, you know, of course, our front office staff. These players aren't just working out for our coaches, they're working out in front of all of our front office executives, our pro scouts, our college scouts are in the building. So it's all hands on deck. It's, uh, it takes everybody here in Allen Park to, to put on a successful local pro day. I thought the meetings were very, very successful and they, they cleaned up a lot of things, a lot of questions that we had. Being able to to have the time, you know, to do these breakout groups and breakout meetings, it's, it's been a, a really, I think, rewarding deal. I do think the guys had a lot of appreciation to be able to come back in the building, uh, being around our staff and our coaches, you know, and I think it's invaluable to get them because I've always said they're the experts. And on the tape in the fall, I like the athleticism of his ability to kind of play up and down the line. Uh, you know, you watch this kid, the athlete's definitely greater than the football player. He's a freak athlete. Um, he will show ability and natural strength at times. Intangible wise, so. He's a good kid. There, there's no issues with him. I like the athlete on this guy. I think he's a really good bender. I think he's a good athlete overall. He's long. I think he has an upside. Good sized kid. You know, this guy looks the part. Athletic ability and all the numbers are good on him. Just, you know, with this guy's play, uh, the production's just not there. You see, as a high receiving athlete. I think so. Like it's if you're betting money on Yeah. Yeah. He definitely has the highest at ceiling just as an athlete, I'd say, you know, but To have them come in and speak more freely when, when they're in that setting with their information is invaluable to our process. In this business, the passion is what sort of sells a player, right? So them being able to sort of be as passionate as they want, to be comfortable, to kind of let their hair down. And I feel like our process, it went a long way as to allowing them the freedom to just kind of express themselves. Um, and we were able to be efficient that way. Coaches have a hard job, you know, they're, they're, they're coaching through the season and they have to make this transition into draft prep and free agency and all that. And so I have a lot of respect for what they're able to provide. And they have so much experience with dealing with players and their ability to learn in a lot of different ways. This coaching staff has done a great job of sort of leaning on us to assess the talent and they're giving us insight on what we're trying to do defensively, what we're trying to do offensively, specifically, you know, right down to every detail, allows us to go from the general approach of scouting to just exactly what we're looking for, you know, as Lions. Every team in the league gets to bring in 30 college prospects into their building, and it's just another chance to get to know them on a deeper level. And then we usually have them meet and start the day with meeting with Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. They'll meet with them for a little bit, and then we'll have them meet with their position coaches, defense or offensive coordinators. I mean, I'm gonna coach you hard and be hard on you, but everything I do is to make you the better player. You know what I'm saying? And I love all my players, all right? And I'm gonna challenge the shit out of you because I expect you to be at your best. Glad you're here today. Um, fired up about you and everything you put on tape, so. It's exciting to be able to spend some time together. What I want to do within the next 30 minutes here is I'm going to install a few plays to you. We'll just talk some ball. It's critical information uh, because as soon as we acquire the players, you know, they're the ones teaching them, they're developing them. And so we want to make sure that they're provided with all the information necessary that we can to, to, to make their job easier, but to get their input in terms of, you know, how does he fit? You know, how is he from an intangible standpoint and how is he fitting in our offense or defense? You know, what is he going to provide on special teams? You know, and so that's information is invaluable. 
uh, speed and power. That's one thing I really love about your game. Um, once you get to this level, if you're a one trick pony, these linemen can get us blocked. Too. I see you coming in, and what I tell you, I love my players that know who you are. Like, and I feel like you do. I, I see you coming in being a dynamic wheel linebacker in this league. All right, so tell us uh, a little bit about special teams, what positions you play, All right? Just kind of walk me through this. The more you tell me, the better. Right. No right or wrong answer. I just want to hear you talk about the game. At any time you can get that player physically in the building, uh, get to interact with them you know, on, on, one on one, uh, where you're not just getting the report um, you know, secondhand. Uh, this allows us to, to get, get them into our facility, into our building, into our program, and to, to, to work with them individually. Teaching is important to me, so you guys get it, right? And I think the best way to teach is part, part, whole. Break it down break it down, break it down, and then let's put it all together at once, okay? Details, we talk about, we talk about the offense, like we know the route, but what's the detail of it? You know, it's right before the draft too, so this is like the final stretch of getting to know these guys, checking off boxes we need to get checked off, and every meeting matters, all the details matter when you're trying to build, you know, a championship team. We've got a special thing going up here in Detroit right now. You know, for, for a team to only win three games, the, the future is bright. The future is very bright. We have a lot of momentum going, and a lot of people are believing or believing in the direction that we're headed right now. And here's what I want to give you. I want to give you comfort, all right? Just say we were the draft. So me and the head coach, one thing that I felt very strong about was that man there. Because I've been around for a long time, and I trust him um, everything I have. And I'm not just saying that because he's a former player. I'm saying it because he's a good person. He's a hell of a coach. The other thing that intrigued me about Detroit was, man, this team, until we start something different, and that intrigues me, man. Because I want the challenge of coming here and how can we get this organization to be a championship organization? We said they just talk, man, how we're gonna do it. All right, and here's the one thing that uh, we all, we said we would end up doing. Right, and I'm telling you this again, this gives you comfort about coming here. Everything that we do, man, is gonna be about serving the player. Everything we do from recovery, to practice, to teaching. Um, every coach that we have in this building, man, is all about teaching the player and what can we do to put the player in the best position to make plays. Man, I wanna create a winning environment for every player that I come in contact with on this team, all right? That's the change that people don't know about here in Detroit. They might feel bad or think bad about Detroit because, it, you know, we haven't won in a while, mm -hmm. all right? Now, if you watched this play last year, 3 13 and one I'm not happy about it. But I'll tell you this, we competed our ass off. Played hard, but that comes from, that comes from the trust the players have in us. Because you don't get that without trusting players. You know what I'm saying? So now going to this year, all right, my motto is for the players, man, now it's time to take another step. Dan and I have always said, you know, you can call us the land of opportunity, but we don't care where you come from. We don't care where you got drafted. We don't care about any of that. If you step in this building, you got an opportunity to compete. You know, I think it's a really good time in the organization. Excited about how this whole thing pans out with the draft. You stick to your philosophy and say, look, man, I'm just picking the best football player that's going to be available. And, and that, that's, what, that's what me and Dan are going to do. That's what we've done in the past. And so you just got to stick to what you believe in.